I'm hype. Our vacation kicks off today. So needed this. It got here quick. I gotta make sure to slow down and really enjoy every minute of it. Making sure the pets are in order. Kids are packed. Again, my son went behind me after I had already packed for them. And he decided that he needed less clothes and more toys. So he took out all the clothes. That was fun. Ashley, what you got on your shirt, girl? That's why I ain't no more Man cave looking decent. Okay. Fozzie's gonna be bunking down here. Shout out to Cousin Juju. He's gonna be watching Fozzie. That's a nice shoe right there. Nice shoe. Why is it jumping back? Move it, move it, move it. Cause I touched his head. I don't play with the snakes. Nope. All right, that's a little close. Look at that. It's called a super fan. This one's super busy. Tell it. The people what today is. It's Wednesday that I get to go to Momo's. Where does Mama live? North Carolina. Okay, okay. Are you packed? Yeah. You got all your dinos? Yeah. Are you ready for blue pancakes? Yeah. Are you ready for fun? Yeah. All right. Vacation. Look at my dinosaurs. Okay. I have this sword because I like dinos too. Animals and dinos. Well, I guess dinos are a type of animal, huh? No. Was your breakfast good? I see it all on your face. I have one more egg rolls muffin that I have to eat. Okay. So, me, side sauce is like the same. So, I see you guys later. So you're in the car. What well, what? Our trip here is Wednesday. Go Mir. Where you going? Mama. Where you going? Mama. Where you going? Mama. Go Mir. Go Mir. Go Mir. Say you hi. Mama and I do. I am. Me and Auntie Judy. Just like Nana is Daddy's mommy, Auntie Deja's, Auntie Kia's, and Auntie Nails. I don't think that's how God works. Are you going to call me? Yeah, I'm going to call you if I miss. You going to call me too, Saya? Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Oh, you're being dramatic. It's not horrible. This is an excellent day. It's okay. And hey, look, so you know how you get over ex overly excited about somewhere and going somewhere and doing something? Mm -hmm. So I've never been in different time zones. Mm -hmm. So I know it gets hot, right? Everybody know it gets hot in New Orleans, right? Mm -hmm. So I went and got these new t-shirts from Haynes, right? And it said uh, it changes, uh, I don't know, I guess like temperature with you to keep you cool. You got the mattress part of the playpen, right? Yeah. Okay. So, the new t-shirts were hands supposed to keep you cool, you know, uh, as you get hotter, I guess, or whatever. So, long story short, it feels like a freaking uh, silk, a fake knockoff. Look, look, look. <laughs> look how the AC. I'm going to have to get new shirts. It's good. Doors a lot. We need food. Did we grab an Alexa? Yes. Grab Alexa. She's in a laptop pad. You got the credit cards, mm -hmm. debit cards. Uh, we made it on the first part of our trip to Momo's house. I'm Clara, the Uber driver. <laughs> 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 We're discussing global warming. This yeah. is false. It's fake news. It's fake there we news. go. You know, the first time it came hip to Earth and temperatures was uh, Al Gore and uh, Bush in high school. Look at you. The TVs at all the school, or uh, what, the school, all the TVs stayed on like, uh, what was it, C-Net or C-Span? Right here. 
right here. Here we go. Well, I can't get over. Oh, this is fine. Okay. Here. Thank you, mommy. Love you. Okay. We got everything. You got everything? Yep. Yeah. Sure? Yep. Okay. All right. Love you too. Like, <laughs> I didn't know Rob and Angela uh, Simmons used to date. Saweetie and Justin Combs? Who didn't know Future and Black China dated? Mm -hmm. uh, There's Kylie and Jaden Smith. Mm -hmm. And they were just exploring. Lamar and Taraji. Did y'all know that Lamar Odom and Taraji Pete Henson? Mm -hmm. <laughs> lady. Where we at? Where we at? And uh, and oh, what you see? What up? Look, baby, it's not a line. We made it. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to work this thing. Did you change your phone for the time? It uh, automatically did it. I had to do it. Yeah. I'm ready to eat. Look, baby, Dookie chases to the right. So we can't check in just yet, so we're going to explore. I want to, we're gonna do the trolley. We're gonna go get food first though. Food, food. There we go, that's better. I'm surprised it has like this, uh, like this Miami kind of Vegas feel. Look at this tree. What kind of tree is that? You definitely see the French influence. A lot of French names of the streets and the areas. We are gonna eat here. Oh yeah. All right, y'all, we're about to try this. This looks way more interesting. I don't know how I feel about that though. Yeah. <laughs> the structure of yours. <laughs> I still want to try it. Yeah. Getting on the track. Thank you. Home away from home for the next couple of days. Day two, because we get the people watch. Like yeah, watch. I like that. It's on the strip and you can watch. We have a swamp tour on the books today, I think. We'll see how that goes. You know, my people, it's never ended well for us getting on water and in boats. Brunch, day two. And it's the line. So it might be. It might be like that. It might be like that. Oh yeah, we need to go down that one today. It's pretty. We are in the third ward. No, I'm just kidding. Not in the third. <laughs> <laughs> French Market. It's 
Okay, looks like a good idea. Italian oh, ice. Italian ice. Yeah. That's right. Oh. Oh, what is this? Chocolate covered fruit. Kilwin's chocolate fudge and ice cream. Oh my gosh. We gotta go there. Oh, they got candy out there, baby. Oh no, I'm going there now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah, apple pie caramel. I already know what I want. You guys, this is probably the best part of the shopping part of the trip. He got me to come in here. <laughs> okay. Baby, okay, how do you work around all of this and not? I got this from like steak potatoes. I'm not a sweets person. No? no. Oh my god. See, I'm like that too. Who helped me today? I'm just John, but I go by JT. I might come back tomorrow too, JT. <laughs> all right. Some cash. You like that, bro? always talk about third war and if you know me you know i'm from the heights and you know that's third war he said he grew up in magnolia though that's where uh hot boys are from not wayne i think wayne was from somewhere else but this is a uh, louisiana lemonade light on the lemonade i had the um hurricane last night still a little tipsy this morning 
And it was only one hurricane, one train. I live through my husband when it comes to this drinking experience this weekend. We're coming back though, so I can shut him down. It feels great out here. It's warm. It's like 80, 80 89, but the, the breeze is constant. There's a lot of shade. And then there's a lot of, uh, I guess, the breeze because of the water. Whereas in Virginia, it'll be mad sticky and you don't even want to be outside. You don't want to be outside because there's nothing to do outside. You go and eat and it's, maybe it's a festival. Yeah, but I'm about to say Virginia, don't speak about festivals. Richmond definitely hold it down with the festivals when it's hot. But um, what I love most about here is the culture and how, I guess for lack of a better term, street performers. Yeah. How the young boys was performing, but they were dumb. You know, like he told the uh, white guy, he said, "Drop the money right there, bro." You know, like and, you know, his act, like he was him. He was using his language, his dialect. I love how people they're dumb and they're not trying to change it up for the tours or whatever. I like that. I respect that. I think people are attracted to authenticity beyond the touristy stuff. Like the touristy stuff is cool. But the locals and actually talking to them, talking to people at the bus stops and the, the trolley stops. Like it's, That's the best part of it, yeah. It is. It's been the best part. But they all are, like you said, they're authentic. Even the young lady in the restaurant. Um, the guy, when we asked him, we left his restaurant to go somewhere else, and he gave us the rundown on some ni nice spots. Like, they're really just want you to enjoy yourself. The more you give people the experience of New Orleans, the more you give them of that culture, the more people will want to come back. Come back. And we've already, we were here day one, and we said we're coming back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's more than just alcohol. I'm not drinking, but I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying watching people enjoy themselves. With the culture, it's not about the black culture or white culture, it's the New Orleans culture and you know, regardless of who we're speaking to, if they're local, they're really like helpful and just cool. Like in Virginia, I feel like if we had a lot of tourists, tourists coming there, only a certain group of people would be catered to, you know? And black people probably would be, um, if you're not spending a lot, then they'd talk to you a certain way. But down here, they don't even know what you're spending or what, and they just, all right, what's up? You know, helping them. This may sound a little weird, but you see the homeless, you see the homeless on the streets, so or you see homeless at the bus stops and things, talk to them, because they know their city. The, we had a homeless gentleman teach us about the trolley and bus systems here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, like, here we are teaching other people who are lost, because everybody gets here, like, I don't know what trolley to get on. And he broke it down for us. So we've been able to get around because of him. The homeless population is very essential because they're the movers and shakers and they see the nightlife, they see what the city is, what it wakes up, you know, they know how it moves. So, you know, don't don't treat them like they're in the way. If you can, get water for summertime and it could probably put you on some stuff. Talk to your people, man. Like This gentleman sang for us, gave us a private serenade and it reminded me of my baby. So it was really sweet. And it also reminded me of an uncle of uncle of mine. You know, so coming to cities like this, there'll be strangers that remind you of somebody you know, which also gives you a connection to wherever you visit. You know, building relationships with strangers. You're like, oh, you remind me of so and so. Oh, you like so and so. I wouldn't go over there at night. Or oh, if it was a little darker, I wouldn't yeah, win. Yeah, I'm not trying to be friendly and shit. At yeah. night. Okay. You get a whole mix of people. <laughs> but yeah. daytime, I'm like a million people out here. Hey, I'll take my chances with that. Especially with the camera out, people are less likely to try something sleep if they see a camera roll. Let's talk about another thing. Dads, how do you feel or soon to be dads when you're out with your, you know, baby mother and everybody keeps talking about, oh, you look good, you look good, you look so nice pregnant, but nobody compliments you. <laughs> no, like, not a single, your eyes look nice, no. yeah, I like your hat, you know, none of that. They're like, oh, first of all, okay, they all over me like I'm a newborn so, baby. Bro, Everybody's like, oh, you're so cute, you're so cute. Every, every five minutes, I promise, every five minutes, yo. <laughs> and Tyrell stands there like, nah, when they talk to me, they ask me pregnant. to. They well, asked me I to take a picture. It. No, they asked me to take a picture with their phone. <laughs> he like, stands there like. They talk to me like I'm like I'm local. Like, I'm, hey, take this picture real quick. I'm like what? He's walking around this big ass bazooka. Nah. <laughs> okay, so people, are, if you're wanting a picture, aren't you gonna ask the guy who got that? <laughs> One person asked for a picture. You should have said twelve dollars. And then she handed me four phones. Twelve dollars. Then she was like, oh, he a photographer. He know what to do. <laughs> I love my side taking pictures, and I tag you for two dollars. 
I'm gonna take a picture. I'm getting some nice pictures though. That's pretty good. Dang. Uh oh. Oh my, oh He's my God. Feeling it. That I, lemonade. I hit Spit Up on Instagram. He ain't hit me back. He's probably I was just, busy. I was just trying to be his cameraman for the day. He might not even be here. Nah, Spit Up home. He's here. He'll get back to us later. Hey, where's Peace then? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Carl makes friends everywhere, though. You would think my husband is not a friendly person because he's he can be radical and he's passionate about changing things, but he's really, really um, a people person. That's why I'm trying to get him to get into politics. Uh, I, I don't like putting up a facade or anything. I love people are straightforward and. Yes, you care about people's emotions and feelings. However, you're responsible for your feelings. You know, like, I could try to be a pleasant person, but if I say something that comes off the wrong way, my bad. So communication is about, you know, understanding and receiving information, you know, back and forth. So as long as I understood what you said, all right. And I think this is why um, me and my husband disagree when it comes to communication. My husband is more so focused on the why they communicate the way they do and just understand it. Whereas I'm, com I'm focused on the how. How was it communicated? All right, I understand what they meant, what they mean, what, what was actually presented to me. For me, because of uh, um, me having to get a better grip of anger and stuff like that, uh, if I get caught in that, I'm gonna always be offended when I fight, you know? Or be upset or something. Yeah. Well, I think that's not a necessary uh, a need for commu a communication ship. I think that that's a responsive issue because whatever's communicated, you're still going to feel that way. You have every right to because they communicated improperly. Mm -hmm. But the way you respond would need to change. And I guess it's a social work in me, too. I'm just focused on the how. Oh, that's nice. The sun's hiding for a little bit. The breeze off the water. Off the Mississippi. Uh -oh. oh yeah, it is the Mississippi behind us. Is that what we're eating? We're eating fish though, babe. We have fish. Oh, well, we eat fish out the James, so... And anybody know about the James River? Alright, alright. <laughs> you fish out the James River, you done ate a body. <laughs> <laughs> well, it used to be, excuse me. Richmond is way better now. Richmond is top 10 in um, economics when it comes to young families. Disregard the James River stuff. Come to Richmond, spend that money. I come to Richmond all the time. Hey. Let me go, let me go. This We're gonna take our talent to the casino. Alright, so this is a night two. We are down Bourbon Street. Okay. Ooh, was that that horse? Something smells a little like sewage. We're gonna get food. Did I say we were on Bourbon Street already? Nightlife? We got our seat. And look, the balcony is available. How you feeling, bro? I see him chilling with kind of forever, dog. On the cap, on the back, man. Going to the land, just a black man. Strutting every, I'm loving it. Talking to the people that's around. While I'm speaking to the public, hold it down. Sweet 16, I see the squad in the building. What's the word? Let me know. I think the feeling's up again. Gemini seeds and I'm tight. It's only two face. I'm playing, I ain't tripping, dog. Clean like two plates. I'm back up on the block, dog. Everybody got an option, man. I was thinking about it. I'm like, I'll get a burger. So they have onion rings. They have something sweet. I'm alright. I think it's chilly out here. It is.
So, so we're sitting in the airport, Louis Armstrong Airport. It's Father's Day 2019, and we are sitting in the airport because our flight was full. But it was full because there were two, two canceled flights this morning. So we're sitting here trying to make the best of the situation. It's looking like we're not gonna go home until maybe, uh, maybe the five o'clock flight. Because they said at two o'clock, when they said when uh, flights are canceled, everything is pushed back. And uh, as the agent said, um, it was devastating. <laughs> and that was the word he used. It was devastating. But you know, um, it's all about perspective. So we met um, Wayne Mans. He's an artist, a musician as well. But um, he gave us a lot of. Uh, a lot of gems about New Orleans and also about the music, the culture. And uh, he happened to be the best friend of Solange's husband. And uh, he was telling us how he was in the wedding and- He didn't know who her friend Janelle Monae was. Oh yeah? So many coincidences uh, with him in that situation. Even while we even walked by him, you know? Uh, we were supposed to go to another restaurant and ended up not going because the line was mad long. And ended up going to um, ended up going to another restaurant, but I stopped because his art was captivating. He used custom frames out of uh, things he found around the city. He had a trumpet, you know. He did the painting, but the um, trumpet was actually on the painting. Oh, he told us a story about why Billie Holiday wore flowers in her hair. He told us so many cool stories. His daughter's birthday is our daughter's due date. He gifted a painting for our daughter as well, or to our daughter. That he finished that morning. Yeah, he just made it. Yeah, he said he just uh, finished it that morning, so it was fresh. She still had to sign it and everything. So, um, Isley, when you see this in a few years and understand what we're saying, you're going to be like, that was tight. Or even in, in, like later on, after we old and stuff, and you go back and watch this, it's like, damn, my, my father was kind of handsome. That wasn't the only interesting part about it. I asked him why the little girl in the painting um, is wearing yellow, and I just asked him why he chose yellow, and he said because he wanted something happy, and wanted sunshine, one piece of clothing <laughs> for you to leave the hospital in. It's a yellow outfit. It was, it was, uh, I believe, divine intervention and why I ran into him. You know, I think we'll stay in contact, we'll stay in touch. Why were the two flights canceled this morning and why on Father's Day? Like, I, like if it was a pilot, I hope the pilot get written up or something. Food missing poison. the front. You yeah. deserve food poison. Oh, oh. Hey. He probably had too many hurricanes mm -hmm. mixed with the, um, that Everclear drink. But, on a lighter note, um, and I'm gonna take it as a sign. If we're not on that plane, it's a reason. Oh yeah, so the flight was. Go ahead. Yeah, so like she was saying, the flight number was what you saw on the tail had six sixty six or something no, like that. No, it's okay. So it's two numbers they kept showing. They called it flight six oh seven. Okay. But the I guess the number in the flight system, whatever system they have, it's zero six six six. So it kept showing zero six six six, and I'm like, uh, maybe not. And then, not even that, before she told me that, and I didn't tell her, but before she told me that, I had um, I had this obsession with alligators this whole trip. I wanted to eat alligator, you know, and I wanted to buy the alligator head, but the alligator head was $20. And if y'all know me, <laughs> I was like, I'm good. But uh, the lady, <laughs> when she told me it was 20, I said, ah, like that. And she was like, um, how about I give it to you for 10? When she rang it up, and then she rang it up at $6. And with tax, it came to 666. That was a little eerie. But I didn't tell Issa because I didn't want her to, you know, feel that vibe or whatever. We are at Disneyland. 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 Disney
back in Virginia. Back Your in Virginia. mommy's still here and a snake mommy. <gasps> I don't like snake mommies. We're back. I pet the snake. After the airport fiasco, we decided to extend our stay. We enjoyed our last night together. <laughs> we had a nice dinner together. And I think we are very happy to be back. Successful trip? Yeah, it was fun. It's had a ball. It was fun. Everybody needs to do a New Orleans in their adult life. Yeah, without kids. Without kids. And you know, it it wasn't like a college -y scene. So maybe it's a certain time college kids go, but I liked it because it wasn't it didn't seem like juvenile fun. It was it was really fun. Yeah. Let's go okay, we're gonna go to bed. We're so tired. We're having we're tired from having the time of our lives. And we have kids to put to bed. We're gonna go put these guys to bed because uh, they're tired, we're tired, and we miss them so much. I miss you. But I haven't had dinner. <laughs> Oh, we we had dinner. I wanted to watch TV with my dinner. I should have eaten my meal and what and until we get home. You should have saved it until you got home. Yeah. <laughs> it's time, time to go to bed. Mm. Time to go to bed. Time to go to bed. Mm. Time to go to bed. Some <laughs> peace. Say bye. I don't want to go say to peace. bed. Peace. But I don't want to go to bed. <laughs>